Hello, brothers and sisters, Nathaniel, Rapture Watchers for Jesus. Praise God, we're another day closer. You guys, I got my shirt on from my sister in Christ. Uh, it says, Revelation 22.20. And, oh, you guys, we're so close to going home. Don't forget, Jesus, he loves us. He loves us more than ever anything and everyone Jesus he loves us he loves us more than anything more than anyone he's never gonna let us go family oh my gosh okay you guys Nathaniel rapture watchers for Jesus you guys this was a really hot week really hot here in Elwood Kansas and um uh, so grateful for the family that we have in Jesus. I I got to say, what ask you guys, what is your most favorite thing that you're waiting for when we get home? Most people would say their body. And I'm looking forward to a new body. I know you guys probably are too. But my main thing is to be forever with Jesus and also to be with forever with you guys, my family. We are all family, but the new body will be a great thing. And brothers and sisters, uh, we are so close to going home. We are so close to going home. I have been working 10-hour days and uh, very grateful to have got to witness to a, um, a prodigal that uh, I'm praying for. And it was amazing how God, you guys, I told you guys uh, the last dream that I had, which has been a while ago now, Brother Chris said, get confirmation on this. And I asked and prayed and praised. And uh, I was pretty much chasing a brother in Christ that was a prodigal son that had ran away from Jesus for a period of time. I was chasing him, trying to share the gospel to him, and he was running from me, him and his uh, girlfriend. And um, I went up in a whirlwind in the rapture. I went up in a whirlwind in the rapture, and I'm still, that dream is still um, waving over me because, uh, like I told you guys, that was a brother in Christ and brother are and I love you brother and I'm with you praying for you and uh, personal shout out to you brother if you see this Asher go to Jesus he's knocking at the door of your heart brother we don't have to be clean when we get in the shower you have to be clean when you go to Jesus he accepts you as you are once you believe he died and rose again in three days, and his blood covers all of our sin, past, present, and future. Nobody is perfect, my friend, and he's knocking at the door of your heart today. If you see this, brother, please reach out to me. Um, but the, you know, you guys know how when you get a dream from the Lord, it, it still wavers over you for a period of time. Well, it's been waving over me still. And uh, if you guys could pray for a brother, be his name is Asher. I'll just say that. I don't want to put too much of his information out here because he's a friend and a brother. And I didn't ask his. So. But it's amazing, you guys. All these. You see, guys, how the world is. I know Brother Weather and Mo, shout out to you, Brother Michael. I love you, my fellow watchman brother. Uh, we are going to pray at the end of this. And uh, I wanted to say something. You guys see these people in the world, okay? Now we know Jesus doesn't want no one to perish, no soul to perish. We know this, and um, it's... It's all in his will, everything. But seeing the world the way it is, and I mean, just people everywhere, the way they talk, the way they act, they're always on their phone, 
you know, I mean, just little things. Uh, it's the way of the world is very depressing, very depressing. And it's right in our face, all these fears. And, but you know what? <laughs> People like us, brothers and sisters, the Christians, the, the true born again Christians, there's something different about us. There's something we're excited for, right? The world is preparing for World War III and we're preparing for the feast, the feast with our beautiful family, our beloved, beautiful family, okay? So we got nothing to fear. But I'm telling you guys, just keep your head up, keep looking up, because you are going to be that light. This world is getting darker. You are getting brighter. Jesus is getting brighter in us, in us. And the gospel is getting brighter and brighter and brighter. Is it not? Now, what is the gospel? I was reading out of Colossians this morning, right at work. I've been working, getting up at 3, let's see, 3.30 a.m., and I have to be there at 4. And today's a four-day weekend, you guys. But uh, Father God, he wrote in the Bible, he said, uh, I made my son Jesus, and he had charge over the angels. And Jesus is also God in the flesh. Our Father loved us so much, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes shall have eternal life. Whosoever shall believe. That means anybody that can believe. Anybody. You could be a drug addict. You could be an ex. You could be a Satanist. You could be, it doesn't matter. You come to Christ and you believe he will change you and you accept him into your your life and your heart. It's really just about believing. But once you do that, something changes. You know, it changes. But as you really speak out to him and pray to him, Jesus, I need you in my life. I can't do this anymore. You can have my life. Take it. And I want to be for you. Please come into my life. I'm a sinner. We all sin. But he can give you strength over, over sin to be overcomer. We are still going to fall. But God's grace, brothers and sisters, is so amazing. He's kept me alive. He's kept my beautiful wife, who's got one of these shirts. Praise God. And she looks so pretty in it. The rapture is any moment, brothers and sisters, any, any moment now. We're feeling pains in our bodies, and I'm telling you guys, I've been, <laughs> I'm feeling pain, but Jesus is good. He's not going to let nothing happen to us. Victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. We got nothing to fear, no fear. Jesus is in here and here. He's in our right there and right here and right here. No fear in Jesus. Oh, you guys, I don't know if I showed you the bike. This is what I'm riding to work. Check it out. Pretty sweet, huh? It's a panther. I love it, you guys. Love it. Jesus has been so good. And, oh, we got to pray for Israel because you guys know what is going on. But we pray for our brothers and sisters that are Jewish because we love them. And they are written on our Father's hands. But guess what? We are written on the book of life. And uh, Jesus is with us. He is with us. Matthew 5.10, blessed who is persecuted for righteousness sakes, for they will inherit the kingdom of heaven. And those people that are left here in the tribulation are going to be some strong tribulation saints. And I pray that you can get saved now. I pray that you can get saved now. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4, Jesus died for all of our sins, past, present, and future. And he rose from the grave in three days. We are all sinners, and he 
sealed me and you once you believe you are sealed he planned for this generation the joshua generation amazing amazing i love you beautiful family let's pray okay shout out to you brother michael weather and low i love you brother let's pray and as i say this prayer it's going to be everything okay Father God, I thank you for waking us up today. I thank you for this day. I pray for my brother Michael. Pray for his friends and his family, all working to the will of you, Father God. We thank you for another glorious day that you woke us up. No weapon formed against me or my family shall prosper. All my brothers and sisters will have peace and encouragement and strength today. And every watchman, watchwoman, will have overcoming power in, in Christ's name, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Thank you, Father God, for writing our names in the book of life. We are going to be there very soon, and we are waiting. We are waiting. For, and every moment is another moment closer to being home with you. We praise you, Father God, and thank you so much. We pray for all the innocents in the world and all the people um, we pray for peace in Israel and Jerusalem and we pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ and all the Jews to be saved and for the Christ followers and believers to overcome whatever battle they are going against when we pray all this in Jesus mighty name amen I love you beautiful family keep looking up the king is coming the king is coming I love you guys. Nathaniel, I'm out. If anybody needs prayers, leave them in the comments.